I've been struggling with this thing for a couple days now and I just wanted to show you where I'm at. The problem is that I want to cut two inch pieces off of this roll. Well, the manufacturer put five separate rolls together and rolled them onto a roll, which is probably great if you're trying to make a transformer and the width is this size, but in my case, it's complicated the issue. You're looking at the edge of it and you can see how spongy it is. It's not that thick. It's a real spongy and that's because the layers are put together but I'm not, I don't have a machine that's going to pull them off and tighten them across the transformer, a pole transformer. My issue is that these won't work this way. I need each individual roll rolled off onto its own spool. You can see here, not all these rolls are even. They're kind of staggered a little bit, so they're not all the same. So I had to build a rig and build these spools so that I could take it off there. I was going to put pulleys on it and make it all roll at the same time, but because they're all staggered, uh, it was just easier to manually roll this thing around one time, uh, which is a couple turns on the other ones. So if I turn this like this all the way around one time, then I can take these individually and I know it looks like crap, but basically I can easily catch up that one turn like this. And it's going to take me a couple hours to get this spooled off onto five separate spools. You know, I could do it like this, like I had this little pulley here, right? But it would take me more time to build that part of it. And I've already got a couple days tied up in building this contraption. If you're going to buy it from the manufacturer, make, make sure you specify you wanted a single roll, not five layers. Now, when they sent me the sample, I got it in a single roll. It wasn't five samples rolled onto a roll. So I'm sure they could do it. I didn't know I needed to ask for that, or we didn't know. So um, I'm just going to have to deal with it this time. And in the future, I would want to specify that I want a single piece of met glass in a continuous roll. So if any of you guys are planning on buying this, you want to do it that way. This is just a lot of extra effort for something that shouldn't be. This stuff is so brittle. It, it's easy to crack. The edges are frayed on part of it. So I just wanted to do it the simplest way I could. I was afraid to stretch it out all over the floor or all over the lawn in fear I would mess it up. So this way at least I'm sure that I'm going to get a pristine roll. Uh, actually five pristine rolls off of this one roll. You can see this edge here. You can see how it's breaking, it's cracking. That little edge there is going to affect that that roll, that particular roll. And I'm hoping not that I don't see too much of that. And you can see, if you look real close here, what's going on. Okay, I think I've got this kind of figured out. It'll have four of these uh, arms and they'll be spring-loaded and they're going to put pressure on the uh, met glass till they cut through. Now the, what I have to do now is figure out the angle of the blade against the met glass. You can see here what's going on. This, this is turning and eventually it's going to cut through the same way a pipe cutter cuts a pipe. It's a nice clean cut. I'm not having an issue with the cut at all. It's cutting right through. So it won't be a problem, the cut, but I'm going to have to go slower, which means I'll have to rig it up so I can let it run 
but it is working so I'm gonna go ahead and mount the other blades figure out a way to keep that cool or run it slower whatever it takes to make it run efficiently here